What we have here is an antique CS Bell uh, flour mill that I restored and adapted to using bike power. And the main reason I want to show it to you is to show you the um, bicycle uh, power adapter. The idea is that you could take uh, this extra cycle and hook it to any of these bike powered farm tools and get it to work. And um, the, there, of course on the web there's lots of people who have done this. There's nothing particularly special about the way I've done it, but I did have some requirements um, that I thought were important. One of them was that the rider face the work rather than facing away from it, which basically means taking power off the front wheel instead of the rear wheel. Um, what that means is we're taking a rear wheel and remounting it at the front of the bike. Why should the rider face the work? First of all, it's really fun to see what you're doing, and it might actually help you do it better. The second reason is that it's safer. The other consideration was uh, having some flywheel or you know, capacitance, mechanical capacitance in the circuit that drives these tools seems to help a lot, especially with the thresher and the, and the flour mill operation. So uh, what I did was, again, took a standard flywheel off of an extra cycle and made that the wheel that gets turned. In order to make it shift gears, and gears are necessary for this for two reasons. One is the different tools have different sort of comfort zones and power requirements, and then also different riders. Children seem to love to run these tools, and little kids usually need a lower gear, especially for grinding flour, which is the biggest power uh, application. We achieved gears by uh, welding a tube onto the bottom bracket of the bike and mounting a derailleur on the front. The derailleurs have to be mounted upside down in order to work properly. And of course, we've maintained the right-hand drive function. So you're really taking the rear end and rotating it around 180 degrees, maintaining the right-hand drive. This derailleur here, it's just to take care of the chain tensioning and alignment issues. The flywheel is a detail that's pretty important. You can store more energy in the flywheel by spinning it faster, and that smooths out the operation of the mill a lot. Having a small cog on the flywheel, a large chain ring on the mill, and then using the gears on the drive side of the exercise cycle to keep the flywheel spinning at as high a speed as possible. Stores more energy that way, makes the operation of the mill, whether you're dehulling, but in particular if you're grinding flour, both uh, are smoother and better. And that's all there is to it. It was built from just a regular bike plus some uh, old bed frame angle iron.